It's data. Uh, data, be it mobile, uh, home broadband, and corporate, it, it has helped sustain uh, Globe's growth momentum in the first quarter. Uh, I give it to them that Globe started their aggressive uh, investment in data very much earlier than PLDT. There was a time when uh, Globe's profit dropped. I think that was 2012, 2013. And um, there was one quarter when they fell as much as 80% because there was higher depreci depreciation charges related to its network modernization. Um, also, we should also put that into context. PLDT's um, service revenue is flat. Um, also, we should take into account that uh, PLDT had asset impairment uh, charges related to its uh, rocket internet investment. Okay, let's talk about Globe Mobile subscribers being up 18%. On the other side of the, pe on the, of the fence, rather, PLDT lost 500,000 subscribers. What is driving this shift? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, well, I guess it's still data, data, and data, um, which, I, which is what PLDT is addressing in its digital pivot, which is really a three-year journey starting this year. Um, Mr. Pangilinan has said that, um, well, they have around 400,000, um, uh, what to call that, uh, churn uh, in the first quarter. Um, that's still low compared to what happened in for the whole of 2015. Okay, Cecilia, you're right. The shift towards data is really undeniable. But with Globe having less weight in terms of legacy businesses that PLDT has, are they on better footing in the long term? Yes. Yes, definitely. Uh, Globe is uh, on a better footing because PLDT's legacy business has been a, really a drag on 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 its business that what PLDT had to do was to separate the ILD and NLD in its service revenue so they can better they can better see how well or how bad they're performing. Um, in terms of service revenue, I should point out that um, PLDT service revenue is flat at around 40 billion pesos while uh, Globe service revenue rose 14 percent to almost 30 billion. So you see the All right, Cecilia, our last question. Now, the, let's talk about CapEx of both Globe and PLDT. With PLDT's three-year pivot program, what is Globe doing to counter this? Well, um, Globe's CapEx this year is $750 million, or about 35 billion pesos, and bulk will be spent also to enhance its mobile network. Uh, in the first quarter, it spent uh, 7.1 billion pesos uh, to support the growing subscriber base and increase, um, in, incre uh, to support the increasing appetite for data. It now has about 29,000 base stations uh, about 65%, I think, is um, already 4G. In terms of PLDT, it spent 14.6 billion pesos in the first quarter. That's a historic high um, for PLDT, and it's, it's essentially meant to um, build up the network. That's already 34% of its full year, 43 billion peso capex. Thank so you, you very can see much. the aggressiveness there. Okay, thank you very much for laying it out for us that way. Thank you, Cecilia, from the Bloomberg Bureau.